Hello, Cancer. Thank you for being patient. Um, so I am Brandy, and I have pulled some cards for you prior, so I could really try to receive this message. I feel it's better for me. Sometimes I wing it, but I don't feel I really get a whole message trying to wing that. So first we have the protection. This is a different kind of tarot deck. Look at the bigger picture. Sagittarius. And then we have the sun. <coughs> and when I was pre-shuffling the tarot tarot, we have this. So the biggest message that came to my head before I dive into these cards, just by looking at this and feeling this, was you are pondering a decision. And I know you're like, oh, but Brandy, we always ponder a decision. But the, the cards felt very much that this is not just that should I take the trash out today or not type of decision. This is something um, that you are needing to very much consider. You have two, two options. And you're needing to really say which one is for me better, me, in the long run. Not this is better for now. You need to look at the decision as what is better for me in the long run which one's going to stick in the long run okay because you're really needing to define that and really ponder that you know you need to be brave courageous you need to fight for your happiness and make sure you are very well taken care of okay i have a feeling this has to do with your overall health and finances and uh career and love okay you are needing to explore every option you need to make sure that everything you do comes from good intentions of, and, and not trying to mask uh, as mask or manipulate it into things, you know, that are just for now. Don't manipulate people. Don't mask the situation. You need to really, like, look at it. Look at it. What is this issue that you're facing? Because it's really, right, in the long run, it has something to do with your emotions, your overall insides, and you're needing to really look at that, okay? Um, you need to stay true to you. I'm reading this now. You know, am I doing the right thing? Have my previous lessons in life taught me to behave differently? Has the situation turned out like I thought from my past decisions? This is what you're all, you really need to take this into a consideration and this could be in health job or love you got to place this as a general for cancer sun moon rising and venus all right when this card comes up it's often the indication that you are in the process of finding your higher purpose or at least getting closer to it or the decision there are many challenges and struggles that you'll be facing so you must embrace the spirit of the warrior when the time is right, the veil will be lifted and you'll be able to see, which is probably why the sun came out too. Also, you could be in a phase in your life where people that you encounter might seem shady or something's off with them. You need to trust your intuition and again, try to see the higher perspective that you would be able to make a wise decision on how to proceed. If you wish to proceed with this connection, remember your past experiences will dictate your future. So did they not go accordingly to the plan? Okay, don't let that define you. You can change it at any moment. And you need to use the knowledge that you have and don't worry, just change your perspective. And that's why you're needing to look at the bigger picture. You're needing to protect your boundaries. And like I said, do what's good for you because there is a decision in front of you that it's a, it's a pretty big decision since this came out. Like I said, it's not just like, should I go to the grocery store today or tomorrow? No. No. What has this relationship brought you? What did your past relationships bring you? Um, by you neglecting your health, has it turned out bad? By you maybe calling into work, you have went down a path where you've been without an unemployment. You know, it's these things that you're... You're really needing to look at. It's like you're sitting, you're pondering. Because I see you. You, you are trying to weigh the pros and cons, but you are needing to go with the one that, in the end, 
is overall good for you. And if you step on people's toes for your health or your well-being, so be it. Because you're going to push boundaries at this time, right? You're going to push someone's boundaries, but you have to keep you in mind. This is for you. This choice is for you. <coughs> That's why you're needing to look at the whole grand scheme <coughs> of things. I'm so sorry. I'm coughing. Um, sinuses are definitely on the back. Ah, not coronavirus. Okay. Anyways. Um, you see that hand here in the sun card. And she's like, yes, please. Yes. Someone is giving you a helping hand. You don't need to be terrified to take that helping hand. Okay. They were put in this path to help you choose or really give you some insight like just a normal conversation helps give you that insight and this is his hand on this decision okay this is getting the clarity because the sun is seeing everything it is the clarity it is the health it is the vitality it is the well-being it is a happy relationship and that's why you're needing to look at the bigger picture here is this weighing you down you know do you need to learn something new do you need to learn something from your past experiences probably so Probably so. That's why you're needing to look at the whole grand scheme of how you have handled your life, your health, your relationships, your jobs, your money. Okay? You are, this is something new to you though, right? This is a, that's why it's like uncharted territory and you're trying to lead towards what you're comfortable with. Of like your pet, but that's what they're saying. You can't, you can't lean on the most comfortable decision this time. You have to go with that one will stay in my hand, right? You're in conflict or somebody is like arguing with you with the five of wands coming out. Um, I'm going to put it back in but because I'm asking for a different question. This is conflict and you're needing that resolution. Okay, so you might be trying to appease someone else just to keep the peace. And they said not this time. Not this time, Cancer. Can't do that. Because you're needing to look at the overall well-being of you. You. Alright. Can you please define protection, please? Which is this number seven, which I believe is you during your birthday month. Right. This has something to do with uh, finances or relationship. With the Ten of Pentacles. Like your home life, your relationship. Can you please clarify protection and the ten of pentacles for me right the page of swords and the ten of swords in reverse on the bottom of the deck so you're you're gonna figure this out okay what you thought was going to be a painful decision because you wanted to keep the peace you are going to choose yourself Okay, maybe it was me giving you this message. If you're watching this, you you never know, right? So, right. You are needing, with the Page of Swords, like I said, this is like un, uncharted territory for you. That's why you were wanting to stay with your comfort zone. And this is asking you not to stay in your comfort zone. Not to go with the normal um, approach that you would with making a decision of, let's keep the peace. This is all about you. And yes, you may be unchartered, you don't know much about this, and you're afraid of, like, it rocking the boat here. But it's not going to, okay? That's just going to help you get better. And once you get better, and whatever this decision is that you are, you are heavily pondering here, because you're, you're weighing the pros and cons of someone else, and they don't want you to weigh the pros and cons of someone else. They're needing you to weigh the pros and cons of you and really learn more about what the situation is with your your home, your finances, okay? And your relationships. Okay. Making sure that wasn't all upside down. Can you please clarify, look at the bigger picture for Cancer Zodiac sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Please clarify, look at the bigger picture. We have the Six of Pentacles. All right, and the Wheel of Fortune. Right. 
So this is like all about um, you raising your vibration, considering yourself, you know, making everything even, Reci reci reciprocal, reciprocal. This is good news, okay? Because the wheel of fortune is always going up and down. We always get news that we may not like. We always get news that we do like. But it's all about making the decisions to have a healthy life, a healthy relationship, healthy boundaries. And that's why you're needing to look at the bigger picture. This is asking you to weigh out all of your options properly. Because by weighing all your options out properly, that's the new path you go down. So you have to be very careful. Now, based off this, the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords underlying deck with this going on, is there has been some delays. There is going to be some upsetting news and frustration and, and jealousy and, and, and lies. That's why you're really needing to weigh the pros and cons of this relationship or something. Whatever this, this is spinning in for you, you're going to have to let me know down below. Because you're very undecided. You're very undecided about what to do. And you are needing to see very clearly, you know, maybe someone lied to you or you're afraid of breaking someone's heart by considering yourself, all right? And you're kind of delaying this and you can't delay this anymore. Whatever this decision is that's for you, you can't delay this anymore. Okay. If you need something more um, specific to you, especially if this resonates, my information is down below. I start at 15, cap at 30. I don't believe in robbing anyone from a gift, but time is money, so I do apologize. Now, you can schedule that through my website or just contact me through toriantaro84 at gmail.com. Again, all that information is down below. So we're going to clarify the sun. Okay. Clarify the sun for the zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Got the Page of Pentacles. Clarify the sun for the zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please. Yeah, this is all about. Doing uh, things in a different way. Making this decision in a different manner of what you normally would. Like getting out of that comfort zone and stop doing what's good for just someone else. Because you really got to you gotta do what's good for you this time, you know. You got to look at the bigger picture of this. The devil. Strength. Oh, okay. And the seven of cups. With death, I, <laughs> you know, are you going to keep this cycle or are you going to start a new cycle? That's what death means, okay? Right, okay. Definitely something holding you back. Sorry to see who's here. There's a, a, something holding you back from this decision. And with... With the lovers and this devil card, it is a relationship. You're so used to pleasing them because that's what cancers do. They don't want to rock the boat. You're so used to pleasing them. This is making this decision hard. But that's why they're saying you really need to look at the bigger picture and put you in to consideration this time. Not someone else. This has a lot to do with your well-being. So if this relationship is making you a decision, maybe you just need to open your mouth and communicate. Okay, and and weigh the pros and cons with your partner. Could be done with a Capricorn or a Leo. Capricorn, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, if you're interested in signs. Okay, because you're, you're very confused, and that's why the sun is saying you need to learn to do something different and really have the willpower and the strength not to be a one-sided relationship and consider yourself and do things differently. You need to choose a different choice of what you would normally do. 
So whatever you would normally choose not to rock the boat, you need to do the opposite. You need to weigh the pros and cons of that and really protect your well-being, your health, your frame of mind, okay? This is all about learning to do something different as they're asking you to. Or, I mean, this could, I don't, I'm not feeling that, but this could physically result in this. Because you're so used to people pleasing and not yourself. Working yourself to death, not checking your health, doing what your partner wants. If you're cross watching, sorry, this could go for you too, okay? Depends. Don't be mad though, I'm just giving the messages. Don't be hating, they're all weird. This is a Scorpio, car of Scorpio, but this is endings and beginnings. We are shedding the old way of thinking. That's what I'm picking up here. Shedding the old, the old way of thinking and making choices. Because maybe you're going to watch me and you're going to realize, okay, she's right. I do people please. You know, I need to sit down with my partner. We really need to weigh the pros and cons of this decision because I can't just people please right now. This decision is a major decision for my well-being. And in the end, it's going to be for the well-being of the family. It's going to be the well-being of this relationship. Okay, because someone is not opening in their mouth. Because I did see the Seven of Swords and I have the Three of Swords here. So there is some communication that's not being clearly stated. Because you're afraid of rocking the boat. There is a lie that's not being completely shed here. You're trying to do things on your own and this time you can't do that. You gotta look at the bigger picture because it affects you it affects your relationship and your home life. Right, I have the Ten of Cups and the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So this is really learning to, okay, I need to own this. I got to own this. I got to step up. I got to open my mouth. I got to embody this fire spirit and really take action and look at the bigger picture here for the well-being of my happiness and my family and my health. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that, Cancer. You know, good luck. Make sure you hit subscribe, please. Check out my other videos, and I'll talk to you later.